Hi guys, Justin Fields here. I uh, wanted to present a quick video for you on a quote from Jack Stoof the Finder that I just came across and think is potentially uh, very interesting and may hold some information related to the location of Forrest Fenn's treasure chest. Uh, if you've seen any of my past videos, you may be aware that I had what I thought was a fairly um, solid Kerwin, Wyoming solve. Um, and since the chest was found, I've continued the chase, um, attempting to seek out any information that I could find about where the chest was hidden, uh, regardless of whether that information was, you know, in conflict with our Kerwin solve. So um, I believe that's what I have here. It's an answer from Jack Stoof um, that may confirm that the chest was in Yellowstone National Park. So. There was a series of questions and answers with Jack that was posted on the Hint of Riches boards uh, by a user called Shark. Um, I don't know the person, but Shark, thank you very much for asking these questions and for sharing Jack's answers. Um, they're great questions and may hold some potential interesting clues. Um, I hope you don't mind me discussing them here. Um, I should also note that I did forward the question and answer that I'm about to discuss to Jack to confirm that it was um, actually um, authentic. Uh, not that I don't trust Shark or anybody else for that matter. Uh, I just felt that it was worth double checking uh, before I go ahead and make an entire video based on the comment. So um, Jack did write back and confirm that these were his words. So what is Shark's question and Jack's answer? Um, I'll include short versions here and I'll post a link to the Hint of Riches post down below if you wanna check out the full question and answer in addition to the other questions and answers that, that Shark posted. So in short, the question from Shark was, do you know of any Fen quotes that contradicted your solution to the poem? Jack's answer or part of the answer is, that's an interesting question. And we always know it's a good sign when Jack responds, it's an interesting question. He says, that's an interesting question. There's one particular answer that wasn't interesting to most people, but to me, either totally invalidated what I was doing or was a mild bit of evidence in its favor. I forced myself to pay attention to that and considered it for a long time before I decided it was almost certainly the latter, meaning evidence in favor. He answered, he being forced, answered with a basic sense of fairness and detecting that was important for me, me being Jack. As a follow-up to that question and Jack's answer, Shark asks, as it was a mild bit of evidence, I don't see how revealing what the quote was would put the solution at risk. And Jack responds, I think it would actually, so I don't want to do that. Let's pick apart Jack's answer. Uh, in his answer, he refers to a comment made by Forrest that does three things. Number one, it potentially invalidates what Jack is doing, meaning Jack's approach or solution to the poem. Um, he doesn't say that it made him question one clue or, you know, made it one small part of what he was trying to do, but he says potentially totally invalidates what he is doing, what Jack is doing. Um, so something that Tom, uh, Forrest said potentially could have, you know, really blown Jack's solve or his approach to the poem uh, out of the water. Number two, alternatively, if it's not invalidating Jack's solve, it's potentially mild evidence in favor of what Jack is doing. Uh, and Jack said he really had to consider Forrest's words for a long time before deciding that this is what it was. These, what, Jack, what Forrest had said was a mild was mild evidence in favor of Jack's understanding or his approach to the poem. And then number three, the comment that Forrest made potentially reveals something significant about the solve or the location, which is why Jack was unwilling to identify the quote. So in reading Jack's response to Shark's question, one quote that Forrest made years ago came to mind. It really jumped out at me as fitting these three criteria. Um, it's from a 2014 Q&A with Forrest that was on the Mysterious Writings blog. I'll post the link down to it in the description. 
And it's an answer Forrest gave when he was asked whether he stayed on established trails while hiding in the chest. And the important part of Forrest's answer is this. Generally speaking, there are places where one should stay on established trails. Yellowstone is one. However, it reminds me of the worn out axiom, if you ain't the lead dog, the scenery never changes. When I am in the mountains or in the desert, the last place I want to be is on a trail. Ain't no adventure in that for me. There isn't a human trail in very close proximity to where I hid the treasure. F. So, we have this quote from Forrest that perhaps, unless you were really focused on Yellowstone, you may have ignored, um, but it does those three things that Jack mentioned. It's potentially invalidating a Yellowstone solve by saying places where one should stay on established trails includes Yellowstone. Yellowstone is one of those places you should stay on trails. And we know that Forrest's chest was not in close proximity to a trail. So he's in some regards telling people don't go off trail in Yellowstone. However, he follows that up or qualifies it a bit by saying Forrest personally does not stay on trails. When he's in the mountains, the last place he wants to be is on a trail and um, the treasure is not next to a human trail, not clo in close proximity to a human trail. So that second part of Forrest's comment could be considered evidence in favor of going off trail in Yellowstone. And then the third thing that it does is it discusses Yellowstone specifically. So if Jack had said, this is the quote that kind of threw me for a loop, but then I decided was actually Forrest, you know, supporting going off trail in Yellowstone, we would know it was definitely in Yellowstone. So Forrest has said thousands of things over the course of 10 years related to the chest and the chase and the poem and the clues. And this is just one that stu stood out to me as potentially being the quote that Jack was referencing in his answer to Shark. Uh, if this is the case, it's a really good case for the treasure chest having been hid in Yellowstone and not Kerwin. But the chase is not over. We're still searching. So please let me know what you guys think in the comments, questions, thoughts. If you have another quote you think might fit this as well, let me know. Happy to discuss it and uh, excited to hear your guys' feedback. So thank you again for watching.